Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, this is gonna be a Pisces reading. This is gonna be messages from spirit or your higher self. This is a general timeless reading, so whenever you find this, is meant for you. Also, this is for any Pisces placement, so sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it, okay? Or you could just be curious, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts, we clear all negativity. Okay, Pisces. So the channel messages that I got for you this time is health is wealth, okay? I also got that you guys could be having some gut issues or some gut pain. Um, you could be having some headaches and also some ear pain, okay? Which is very precise. I don't usually get downloads like that for readings, okay? Um, also, um, I heard that you guys could be using meditation to release pain and suffering, okay? Um, and if you aren't doing that, then Spirit is encouraging you to start meditating, okay? Um, to help get your chakras um, in alignment, okay? Because the different pain that you're feeling in different areas of the body is related to your chakras, okay? On a spiritual perspective, okay? not medical okay um also that this is a part of your evolution i heard okay so let's go ahead and get started pisces we'll focus on your past present and future energy uh we'll see what your challenge is what you don't see coming your potential outcome and then we'll get some cards for advice and close with a positive affirmation okay so in the recent past you had ace of wands in your present energy you have king of swords and in the near future, you have Queen of Cups, okay? So with the Ace of Wands coming out, Pisces, I feel like in the recent past, you were very um, overwhelmed. I also heard the word confused, okay? Um, I feel like that you had a lot of stuff on your plate, um, and it was actually consuming your mind, okay? Um, it could have been any aspect of your life. It could have been romance, family, friends, work okay career but with the ace of wands it usually focuses on creativity and taking the initiative okay uh, it's a great car in business most definitely okay so you could have been heavily focused on business or wanting to push your career forward i'm hearing okay in your present energy king of swords so okay um you're being very logical and very wise about your choices and your decisions um i feel like that you are taking that creative idea you had in the past or all the things that were running through your head and you're learning how to cultivate them i'm hearing okay um it's how can i say this it's a very dominant masculine energy and it doesn't have anything to do with you being a man or a woman but i truly feel like that you are taking the initiative okay um in your near future you have the queen of cups okay which reminds me of the high priestess and the major arcana um so it reminds me of pisces energy in this card okay I feel like that you are surrendering to what the universe has for you, Pisces, um, and it's going to push you forward. Um, great energy. You you have fire energy, you have sore air energy, and you have cup energy, okay? So you have the passion, you have the um, the wits I'm hearing, uh, the intelligency, and you have the love for whatever you're working towards or, or whatever you're wanting to call in towards you, okay? Which is great energy. You're definitely following your intuition um, and your heart. Um, and I feel if I haven't already said this, that this is you being in your power, okay? I'm hearing crowning yourself again, which is interesting. You're very balanced, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are meditating. And if you're not in this energy, then you will shift into that once you become very grounded, okay? In your challenge, we have number 16, the tower card, okay? And I feel like somebody else got this exact same card in the same placement, okay? And I think they had your outcome too, but I can't remember. I'm sorry, I can't remember what sign that was, Pisces. But your challenge is was a transformation um, that you didn't expect to happen at the time. You really didn't want it to happen. I'm feeling Pisces as well, too, but it was needed. OK, a tower moment is neither good nor bad. OK, it's just the universe pushing you to where you need to be. OK. And that's that that's that uh, evolution that I picked up in your channel message. OK, it's very straight to the point. I don't feel like I need to go over that card anymore, Pisces. 
what you don't see coming is the four of cups okay so spirit is going to be gifting you something okay this card can represent um being bored by life okay um not feeling entertained enough which is an interesting word but sometimes we feel like that um but we get so distracted on the things that we don't have or that we're looking to call in that we actually don't see what spirit or universe is trying to gift us okay and this is balance okay this is harmony because these are all the different colors of the chakra okay which is the energy that i feel like that you want to embody um harmony and balance in the upcoming i'm here in the upcoming months for some reason and your potential outcome Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be family, but I feel like that it's the balance that you were looking for because the Ten of Pentacles represents everything in the deck to me. Okay, personally, um, it's community, it's family, um, it's love, it's finances, uh, it's wealth, it's legacy. Okay, um, so it's a combination of all things. Okay, so I feel like that you want it all, which is nothing is wrong with that. Okay, um, you want the the money, you want the love, the passion, um, you want the stability. I'm hearing as well too. Okay, great energy. It doesn't feel like you though, Pisces. It's very interesting. It doesn't feel like you. I feel like I'm hearing the phrase that this is a very evolved Pisces, okay, which is a beautiful thing, okay, we can all operate at our lowest level, no matter what sign we are Pisces, okay, <laughs> no matter what sign, okay, and we can operate at our highest, no matter what sign we are as well too, okay, it's a personal choice. So for your advice, you have death and rebirth, number 13, Scorpio energy, okay, major arcana. And then for your other car, imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Okay. And this is kind of like my seven of cups card in the tarot deck. And it reminds me of Pisces energy. I'm hearing Pisces just because these are two water cards for me. Um, to be cautious of letting your emotions lead you in the near future okay um you want to lead with your heart and your intuition which i think i gave a similar message to cancer but at the same time you want to stay in that balanced energy i saw in the beginning of your reading so the fire energy and the swords and the cup energy okay because we all have different things in our charts um and we are all able to pick up from different elements and find that balance i'm hearing okay but death and rebirth that's that transformation again we have two cards for transformation okay and imagination i'm going to read that one more time i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind which is the ace of wands that we picked up on okay so it's a huge time for creativity for you okay and i also feel intuitively that it's a great time for you to start up a business that, that you have been thinking about okay um so that's a message for somebody so if you have been constantly brainstorming and wanting to take a leap of faith um and you feel like that it's not a good time time or this that and something always wrong and no i need to bring something the time is now pisces okay um and you're transforming and your rebirth is allowing you to how can i put this it's allowing you to be in that creative space okay because if you didn't go through that tower moment and that death and rebirth process you wouldn't be able to embrace your creativity and really live in your power if that makes sense for you pisces okay for your positive affirmation you have i am releasing my property mindset come on somebody <laughs> that's a word that is a word and it fits so perfectly with the reading pisces I am releasing my property mindset. One more time. I am releasing my property mindset, okay? Say that however many times you need to per day, okay? Every day. Um, and that's going to help you release that doubt and fear I'm hearing, okay? Because I feel like that you're not shifting forward because of fear, okay? A fear that you don't have it fear that you don't have what it takes pisces i'm hearing okay but all the cards on the table say that you have what it takes pisces okay it's just that property mindset okay so spirit wants you to follow your heart um to follow your intuition um and to follow your dreams i'm hearing okay 
so that's what i have for you today my loves very short i'm so sorry but it was it was straight to the point um keep thriving keep pushing stay motivated if you enjoyed this reading um or you resonated with it please let me know in the comment section below i love to read everyone's comments also i would truly appreciate if you guys like share and subscribe to my channel and most importantly my loves if you have not heard this today you are loved and you are cherished until next time bye bye